Hi, I'm Doug. I'm Dustin. And I'm Chris. You know, uh, it's been almost a whole year. 2012 was the first year we were actually, you know, from January to January, we were actually together. And, uh, you know, we started in 2011, and we started off uh, really freaking small, but in 2012, we went from, you know, this big to, you know, local, you know, heroes almost. I mean, we can't go anywhere in our uniforms or in Ecto, for that matter, <laughs> without getting, you know, fans wanting to take pictures of us and everything like that. Right. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Getting to know the people. Yeah. Getting nicknames uh, called Ghostbusters Senior by everybody I see. Yeah, that, that is true. You know, and uh, the Project Spooky that we had going on, you got us into LEO doing that. That was actually interesting. Yeah, we did. How many, how many libraries did we speak at? Oh, uh, like 12? About 12 of them, yeah, yeah. Total. You know, we did a lot of shows. I mean, it was great for the team. We, we went, you know, from being no-name paranormal team to, you know, people knowing who we are in this area. And I didn't think we were as popular as we did until, you know, you mentioned me about it, saying, hey, you know, I was at the gas station and everyone recognized me. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the, the truck's a dead giveaway. <clears throat> yeah. Even though, like, walking through Walmart, they're like, hey, it's the Ghostbuster guys, you know, and nowhere near Ecto, so... Oh yeah, and, or if we're in uniform, we go to a place to, at a restaurant to eat. I mean, how many times have we gone to a restaurant and eat and actually had people go, Oh my god, I know you guys, I watch your webisodes or, or something. Yeah, you know, or, or saw some newspaper. Or take pictures and stuff on Echo and then want to talk to us afterwards. <laughs> mm -hmm. We get a lot of people wanting to join the team, which is... I mean, we got, we got a steady list of people who want to join. But, you know... You know, honestly, you know, and also with the team, you know how it is. It being together in this whole year, we've actually had a good team team dynamic. I mean, we it works for us. I mean, you always talk about the team dynamic. Yeah, we we went from kind of skittish. We grew together. We know each other a lot more, more closely. It makes a big difference knowing that you can trust your partners and stuff. Yeah, and trust trust that what they're doing is right. You know, uh, you know, when you get someone new on the team, it's really hard to sit there and go, oh well, I don't know if this guy's gonna do exactly <coughs> what we want him to do. I mean, when Dustin joined, you know, we were kind of like, uh, you know, we just met this guy, he just started working at the place that we work at, and he, now he's on an investigation with us. First he, investigation he did, he put a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. It was pretty good. I'm, I'm proud of that fact. <laughs> By the way, that was not like, you know, he did it on that's purpose, what had happened. Life. What had happened was, is the wall had a very bad patch job that was made out of newspaper and paint. And he had just so happened in the dark to put his hand on that one particular spot and break it. And that's where he got the nickname Milky, which I don't know, a lot of people don't know where he got that nickname from. <laughs> what had happened was, is we were in an investigation, he put the hole into the wall, and then uh, our old team member, Michael, spurred it off with, why Milky, why? And it just kind of stuck from there. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm... Uh... Now referred to as Dustin Milky Wilson, and that's kind of <laughs> or <how> just Milky. <laughs> yeah, that really does help the team dynamic to have like these little tiny jokes, uh, you know, here and there. Even though there's sometimes what you guys don't see on the webisodes is we actually do butt heads from time to time because you know when it comes to certain uh, EVPs, certain ears hear certain EVPs, and I don't know how many times that Dustin will hear an EVP and Doug will hear an EVP, and I can't hear it, and I'm just like, am I you know deaf? Am I left out of the loop? What am I hearing? And you know, we have, you know, those are the biggest issues because it takes about an hour or two just to debunk or c confirm one single EVP, and we have like a list of eight of them. Right. Especially when we went to the branding iron, we had so many uh, EVPs, and then, you know, we kind of weed through the ones that we like and ones that we don't think should be presented because they're just left open to so much interpretation. Yeah. You know, I don't know how many times uh, we had that. But we, we always come together as a team and get stuff figured out and done. We do butt heads a lot, though. Yeah. It does happen. But I got a big, thick skull, so I went a lot. Well, it does happen a lot because that's how it is in the field. You're stubborn. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the meat I, eater, so. <laughs> he doesn't, I don't I think Dustin really gets in the way of anybody. I think he just kind of, when me and Doug start butting heads, because me and Doug are both directing the team at the time, so he has one idea and I have one idea, and it works for the most time, but there's sometimes when the two ideas don't coincide just right, and he's like, no, I want to do it, and I'm like, no, you need to do it this way, and and Dustin goes eyes in the corner. 
then I come back and I'd be like, okay, you guys need to hug and make up now. <laughs> there is no hugging on the team though, even though there's been a few <laughs> times where Doug has hugged people. Doug likes to hug. <laughs> I'm like a teddy bear. I like to hug. <laughs> you know. But, you know, in 2012, we had a lot of investigations, more than 2011, and that's what, I mean, of course we did, it was our first full year, January to January, and I think my favorite ones so far, I mean, it's a toss-up between the Umatilla house and the one in Hetner, that old funeral home, the last one that we did, and I I, I mean, when it came to activity-wise, you know, like, constant, uh, Hetner for sure, when it came to a a variety of activity, it was definitely Umatilla. I mean, those are two of my favorites, but I'd probably, out of excitement-wise, probably uh, the funeral home in Hetner. That one had a lot of excitement. Absolutely. And yeah. it was just nonstop. I mean, twice we ran. I mean, Dustin ran, I ran towards, of course, not away from. And the Doug thing was is, getting tired because he's following us with the camera. And the thing is, is that generally in investigations, we don't run. Um, so when you do see us run, it's because we're legitimately seeing something and it's really piquing our interest and we just we gotta find out what it is. And most of the time it's not even thinking yeah. about it. We think about shadows and stuff like that. We just run to it to try to see if it's shadows being played off by something else or if a legitimate shadow figure or something like that. So, so that's, that's why we run to it. So what's your favorite though there, Dustin? I, I would have to say funeral home for you because uh, you were running everywhere. Yeah, I, I would have definitely say Hebner because it was just a kick in the pants. We were running all over the place. I was excited. Uh, a couple times felt really, really uncomfortable. Um, it just felt like I was going into like a new portion of a new world, just going up those stairs. Just electricity was just yeah. in the air. You could feel it. Yeah, I, I definitely felt it at one time. <clears throat> I don't know if you have a favorite bug. No, I, I would say it was the happier one. I, it had so much going on. I mean, the down in the crematorium was really cool. I never felt like, you know, it literally felt like electricity ran through my body. I actually got dizzy from it. Um, the fact that we burned a Ouija board and stuff, finally got that out of their house. You know, and the thing is, is uh, you know, we have all these other person, you know, personal residences. That's usually where we usually do a lot of our work. I mean, we did got to do two businesses. We did uh, the pheasant and the branding iron, yeah. and we did it within a week of each other. I mean, it was in the same. Yeah, it was in the same week. Yeah, same week. I mean, it was exciting. I mean, I enjoyed branding iron. It was great because we got to have Candy U show up and do a story on us. That was mm-hmm. awesome. And after that, we we were on the news, and that was really cool. And speaking of excitement, we've had some pretty exciting moments in 2012. A lot of them, and I can't really pinpoint any um, exact. Uh, exciting moment for myself other than maybe seeing that foot and at the funeral home I mean that was the first time I ever ran towards <laughs> something usually I just kind of oh what was that and I you know lumber slowly this time I actually was full sprint the the branding iron where we uh, our equipment case lid flipped off yeah that, that was pretty cool. that that was actually really cool when we, we got that on video at least the sound of it hitting the ground and I love Doug's best response ever yeah. What was that? Or no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, Doug's been in this field longer than we have, so the smallest things excite me and Doug, or me and Dustin. I've been in it for, what, three years now? Yeah, about Dustin's three. going on his year and a half. Almost two years. Yeah, almost two years. And uh, so the smallest things still excite us. Doug's been in it for almost 15, and <laughs> You know, one little thing happens and we're jumping up for joy and Doug's just like, eh, <laughs> seen better, you know? <laughs> we didn't get it on camera, it didn't happen. <laughs> and that is a big rule for us, too. I mean, that, could... That's my attitude with it. You, you, I could hear a door slam shut in the next room, and if I didn't get it on camera, I'm not going to get excited about it because there's no, there's no um, recorded evidence. So I just kind of go, eh. Yeah. Well, I mean, even, I mean, personal experience-wise, I mean... I mean, we know we don't get on camera, and that's the, that's the bad thing about it, and that really sucks for us, but I mean, I'm talking like, oh, heck, when that lid fell off, me and him were just like, oh, oh you know, and I, I, Doug's just like, eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to sit here at the DVR and watch it now, you know, we're just, <laughs> well, I think oh, aren't you excited, thing. you know? <laughs> the thing is, you is better I, get excited. 
I, I ex I'm hoping and expecting that stuff to happen so I don't get excited about it when it does. It's it's should be happening. So I'm like, ah, cool. Yeah, but there are stuff that excites me. You know, I I get a little rambunctious every once in a while. Like seeing the face in the in the in the door window, I, I about jumped out of, jumped out of my skin mainly because I caught it on camera. And I was really happy about that. Even though you weren't really that excited, though. I mean, if I would have saw that face, I would have probably like ran through the window and threw the wall <laughs> at it. But you, you were just like, "Are you kidding me?" And that was it. I mean, that was your response to everything. Are you kidding me? You know, <laughs> speaking of like moments and stuff like that, you know, uh, like exciting stuff. I think one of the most exciting things for me wasn't even in an investigation. It was actually doing analysis when Dustin found that uh, one EVP down there in uh, mm -hmm. the pheasant. Oh, the that, that was my favorite one, that class A. That is the favorite EVP of all time. I would have to say that's, quarters. I'd have to say that's the best EVP we have. It's so clear. Don't pan too much and never run the room either. I called that a, a class A freaking intelligent EVP. Uh, I don't know if that would be a residual haunt. I think that was an intelligent haunt because it was responding to us saying, hey, come have a drink with us and stuff like yeah. that. And of course, we get the boys, we're out a drink together. Yeah. You know? So that was actually a pretty exciting moment in there. You know, we also have funny moments too, which, you know, that are edited out of the webisode because of certain issues. But there's a lot of moments that you don't get to see, which we will show you now, uh, which is us just uh, stuff that we've edited out. So here's a quick blooper reel of. Uh, some of the stuff that we did. Can you redo that? Cause that's oh. some... <laughs> oh. Dustin. Doug. Dustin. <laughs> well, the investigation went really well last night. Well, went very well. I was a bulldog. Got that. Opa, Gangnam Style. So we have a lot of funny moments, as you can see, which is, you know, just us, uh, you know, pretty much physically abusing each other, you know, and that's usually just a fraction of the night that you see, you know, we still are pretty professional, but this type of dynamic, as we've explained, is, you know, it's healthy for the team, you know, we, we mess with each other a lot, you know, you sit in a house for eight hours in the dark with, you know, the same people all night, pretty much, and things are bound to happen no matter <laughs> <Yeah>. what, <laughs> especially just three guys and four guys now since we've got your brother on the team, yeah. your younger brother. <laughs> he is not my younger brother. He's 10 years <laughs> older than Doug. You wouldn't know it from just looking at him, but... I, I, yeah, but he's deaf, so... Yeah, he is deaf. <laughs> and, uh, we gotta, I have to put that, you know, I gotta say that one part where I'm making fun of Doug for being uh, old and Doug can hear me in the in the other room, and I go, well, it does got to be the younger brother because, you know, you know, actually, I'm going to show you the clip right now, and you're going to hear uh, David's response. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> you know, that doesn't even work. He has good hearing, too. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, is uh, David already has already taken to the... Uh, the entertainment factor of being on our team and messing <laughs> yeah. around and having fun uh, didn't take him that long to warm up to us. He's been on a few investigations before that. Uh, he was in Stanfield with yeah. us and we had a good time. Before we hired our cameraman, Jeremy, we had to take uh, his ne or your nephew, Blake, with us. Yeah. You know, and speaking of Jeremy, no one has met Jeremy before. They hear his voice from time to time. He hides behind the camera. He hides behind the camera. You, you might hear him breathe during a webisode. But no one really knows who he is. We've there's been a few times, as you can see, I'll show you real quick. You know, we always will say thank you, Jeremy, or I love you, Jeremy. So you know, I love you, Jeremy. <laughs> so you know, no one really sees Jeremy. Everyone hears Jeremy. Who is Jeremy? Well, here is Jeremy right now. Come He's on our around, camera Jeremy. Manager over here. Here, scoot over. <laughs> scoot over. And let's see. Jeremy's small, so you can see. He's a tiny touching. guy. This is Jeremy, our cameraman. Um, he uh, has been around with the team for a while. He actually has experience in the paranormal field. That's why we chose him to be a cameraman, because he actually knows where to put the camera. Yeah, he actually knows how to aim the camera properly. And knows how not to talk during an he investigation. Right at you guys. Yeah, instead of, going, <laughs> instead of going like this, and 
Hey, I got a question. And aiming it at the floor, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doug has no room to talk because there's been a few times where I think he must have been getting tired during that one in the in Hepner because there's been there was a ten minute shot of just the wall. I was like, <laughs> Who's holding the camera? <laughs> I'm not a camera. <laughs> we have some other ideas coming up too, like um, hosting investigations where you guys can come and investigate with us. Uh, we're looking into that and making that an option too. So if you guys want to try to investigate and see what it's like, keep a lookout on our websites and webisodes because we. In the, in the future here, we might be hosting um, investigations where you guys can come and join us. Yes, and uh, you know, keep an eye out on our Twitter and our Facebook. It will, we'll have the links right here. Uh, just click on them and uh, check them out. Uh, they'll be down in the info box on in the bottom of the episode. Um, so if you have any questions about to ask the team, uh, feel free to ask us. Uh, we'll keep you posted on everything. Uh, we are going to expand the Project Spookly, or Project Spooky. Spookly? Spookly. <laughs> That's right. That is now a new adjective that we're going to be using in the term now. Project Spookly. But you can store in the future. When we go to a place your house is not haunted, it's Spookly. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's a new scientific term, and you will see that in 2014 being used by TAPS. <laughs> and you will be impressed. <laughs> but Project Spooky, we're going to expand it. And we're going to do what Doug said. We're going to host... Uh, kind of like a ride along with the team and we're trying to find the location right now to do it at. We have some possible locations but we still got paperwork to do to guarantee mm-hmm. them, So Paperwork, uh, waivers and stuff like that, there's a lot of legal stuff that goes in. People don't understand that as well, how much of the legal paperwork that we have to do before an investigation. Right. But uh, we're not going to bore you with that explanation. So we want like to thank you guys for uh, watching this video and putting up with this uh, kind of mundane talk. But I figured if you guys are fans, and I'm sure you are if you're watching this, uh, how the team kind of works on the inside instead of what you see in the webisodes that I show you. So thank you for uh, watching the uh, this uh, episode, and we'll see you guys shortly.